Hi guys, today we've got a fun project that we're working on. It's probably our last big project of the season. We are gonna be putting together raised garden beds and I'm really looking forward to this project. I'm so excited to do this because I haven't gardened in raised beds before. So this is gonna be like a whole new experience. All my gardening, like vegetable production has been in ground. So this is gonna be a fun learning experiment and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. Real quick, let me show you where we're setting up the raised bed garden. So we're over on the south side of the house. This side gets full sun and I'm going to be putting three three by four raised beds along this area here. And then over here by our patio, I have got two three by six beds, which are going to go right over here. So we have five beds to set up today three three by fours and two three by sixes. All of them are 14 inches deep. They're all 100% cedar. I picked them up from Gardner Supply Company and I'll be sure to put a link in the description box if you wanna check them out. Mo is gonna come out and help me. So we're gonna get everything set up and then we're gonna just kind of barrel through and get them all put together and placed. And then I will walk you around and show you how everything looks. Here's our workshop for today. We have a couple tables set up. Over here we've got our tools. We have a leveler, a mallet, measuring tape. We have an impact drill with a Phillips head screwdriver. And this is one of the three by four raised beds. And it comes with very detailed instructions, a list of tools needed, and how to assemble everything. So we're just gonna dive right into this and get them all assembled. Here we go. So first we're putting these on. Yep. Okay. Doesn't matter which one, which way is it, does it? No, as long as it's all the same. Cool. 
hi. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi guys, so it's the next day. Mo and I got all the beds assembled and placed. And you know, we just had so much fun yesterday doing this project together. We were just laughing and carrying on and just taking our dear sweet time and realized, you know, later on in the afternoon, we're like, oh, we still have a few things we gotta get done before the end of the day. So I wanted to come out here today and kind of just walk you through where we've positioned everything and what my thinking is going into next season and through the winter. So coming off the back patio towards the kitchen steps, we have the two three by six beds positioned over here. And you guys, I am just so in love with these beds. The color of this wood and the pattern is just beautiful. I can't wait to plant these up. So we position these two feet from both sides of the patio edge, which gives us enough room to get the lawn mower through. And then between the two beds, we have a three foot path. So that's more than enough room to get in between and work on either bed. And then over here by our fig tree on the south side of the house, we have the three three by four beds and they are positioned 18 inches from the house, 24 inches, two feet from the edge of the patio, and we have two feet between each bed. And they are so beautiful. So this bed that we have leveled and filled with soil, we're gonna be planting garlic in the next few days. And I did have this nice and smoothed out but it looks like we had some squirrels come in here and start digging around in here. So when I go to plant my garlic cloves, I'm going to put a layer of bird netting over the top to kind of keep them from digging up any of the cloves. So initially we were just going to line the beds with cardboard and fill them all with bags of soil and just kind of let the cardboard smother out the grass until next spring. But as we kind of got to talking, we decided, you know what, we could just come out here, you know, like on the weekend or, you know, during the day or something and just kind of chip away, you know, bed by bed, get them nice and leveled, fill them with soil. And then that way in spring, they'll be ready to go. And I think that's what I want to do because while this is easier, I think just aesthetically, I like the look of just the beds filled with soil and that contrast between like the dark soil and the light wood. Uh, I'm just, I'm so excited. I can't wait, you guys. <laughs> oh, let me show you too. Let me show you what I filled the beds with too. So for the vegetable garden and all the raised beds, I wanna try and keep the area as organic as I possibly can. And I have used Espoma products for years and I'm really fond of them. I like the quality of their products. So I went with their organic raised bed mix because it is just packed full of nutrition and nutrients and just so many good things. And it is just the lightest and fluffiest of soils. Look at that. Like I can just burrow my hand right in. That's how loose and fluffy it is. The beds are from Gardner Supply Company. They are their deep root raised bed systems. They come with everything you need to assemble them. They're 100% cedar, they're rot resistant, they're termite resistant, I believe, because termites don't like cedar wood, which is just another added bonus. And to me, they feel like a very durable, high quality bed. And I'm just really looking forward to using them and seeing what kind of food production I can get out of them next season. I'll put a link in the description box of Gardner Supply Company's website and a direct link to the beds that we assembled here as well. You guys should check them out. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.